We see the history of Kawasaki robots. Here is some training display, and this is a robot humanoid platform. This is the history of Kawasaki. Okay, there are like three different options. Here is your arm spy robot. Yeah. <laughs> nice. You sit in this chair, and it's fully controlled by this industrial robot. Okay, we are back to Japan and Tokyo. And actually, we are back to the Odaiba Island, which is an artificial island built in Tokyo. And today, we're going to attend and to visit Kawasaki Robot Stage. So, it should be great, great experience, I hope. And also, this is the same island where we did uh, Mirikan last time. Okay, let's try and see what cool stuff we can find here again. Stay tuned with us, IoT4. Okay, so in this paper we see the history of Kawasaki robots and Kawasaki is doing a lot of stuff for robots. It's in English and uh, gives you an overview of what to expect here. So here is some training display and this is the overview of the room. Okay, not a big one, but technically, let's see what we have here. Okay, so this is Kaleido, and this is a robust humanoid platform. It has vision sensors, more powerful than human, a pedal locomotion, built in batteries. It's 1 meter 78 centimeters, you see. Do not touch, unfortunately. Okay. And here is the example of how it works, how it could be used in different areas. Okay, this is for people with disabilities. And you see how it helps to get things done. Okay, this is a review of the Kaleida Robust Humanoid Platform. Unfortunately, it's not acting as of now. Hopefully, to we'll see it in action someday. Not as a Terminator. This is the history of Kawasaki display. In general, it's not a big space, but you see there is a lot of cool stuff. And here is the pharmaceuticals robot. Okay, so it's for medical purpose and um, Kawasaki robots also contribute to pharmaceutical and medical fields. But it's got streamlined design, just full cures, very ergonomic and modern robotic hands. Here is how it works. Okay, there are like three different options. Like this one, white with the Huge, I don't know how it's called, <laughs> sorry, in English. And uh, oh, you see, the thing is that these three hands they act together. So one is getting the fluid, the liquid, the other one is using a probe, and then and then it goes here and put it here. Okay, takes next probe. Wonderful. Technically, I forgot the silver one. The silver one takes the initial tank of liquid. Okay, the act of the team. So this is very, very cool. Okay, here is dual arm scar robot. Dual arm collaborative scar robot. They are enabled as humans and robots to work together. Oh, okay. Okay. It's not working, but here is the demo. Emulation. So the idea is that these two arms should cooperate together and with the person. And here is the controller. These are some cool stuff to buy. Let me buy it. Here is... Okay, and should I always uh, look at the camera or I can... Ah, no. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. okay. We'll, do, we'll do one more try. Okay. I promise not to move. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, cool. Okay. 
So now this robot. Okay, now I can send out or oh. okay. Okay, and now it's going to draw. Okay, and okay. I click okay. 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 Name also, please. Okay, let's put my name. Now there will be okay, and it's going to draw. Start. stuff I used so you sit in the chair uh, controlled by these industrial robot hands so these two things are the same I use that experience it's really awesome so the thing is you sit in this chair and it's fully controlled by these industrial robot hands and the thing is also that you choose some VR program for it different things like you fly somewhere or like you doing some repair work and together with the virtual reality helmet so you can see it here I chose like I was flying between like different like orcs and bridges and then it put me to the very top of the I don't know building or something and yeah it was quite cool experience but the thing is that this is all controlled by the hand unfortunately I cannot show you how it works because I need somebody who <laughs> is doing this stuff but yeah Okay, very very cool experience. Probably will buy some gifts for you. And uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you, very cool. This is to give some overview of how building this looks like outside. And you see, it's quite not a big but nice showroom and uh, it was very very interesting experience and I like that Kawasaki kind of like invest into building some showrooms and the experience this is very cool and again we are on Adaiba Island the artificial one and Sega Jerry Pollux maybe next time when we start doing some for gaming stuff okay see you guys and i do have a couple t-shirts from kawasaki so we are going to probably make some interesting interesting event bye